Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I had said in a previous video that once Vulcan was in a more ready state for PSP, I would do a video that was focused on it. It, it is working now. It's got some caveats, like there's some screen tearing when you fast forward and things like that. It's not fully ready yet, but it is further in development, so I wanted to show you guys. As you can see, I'm set to Vulcan 2x resolution, no frame skip. I do need frame skip one for God of War, but that's the only game I've encountered so far where I need it. I say so far because I've not tried every game in that list. You get the idea. It's not my favorite game, but it works fine. EA Sports. It's in the game. I haven't played this one. Getting a pretty bad reflection, but there's not much I can do. It's the middle of the day. Oh, there's some lag. So if that happens... Just try this. Yeah, so apparently that particular game is not going to be a thing. Why not? I'll just enable autosave. <laughs> it wasn't going to let me go any other way. Also, yes, I took the screen protector off finally. It is a really nice screen, though. Would help if I could drive. You can see it there, a bit of the screen jitter. I 
I'm actually curious if that happens with Frameskip 1 on. Yep, yeah it does. So that's what I was saying when I when I said Vulcan's not completely ready yet. It does work, obviously, as you can see, but it still needs a bit of tweaking, which is why it's not yet available to the public. I'll show you what I mean about God of War. And why I say it needs frame skip one still. Don't have to leave it long for you to hear the difference there. And then you turn on frame skip one and suddenly it's okay again. I'm holding fast forward now. That distorted audio will go away when I stop fast forwarding through the game. Maybe it won't. I think I fast forwarded too much. Whatever, I'll just restart it. It is what it is. So Stuff like that right there is kind of the reason why these things go through so much testing before they get released. That actually hasn't happened to me before, but... I also don't normally fast forward through the whole intro. Well, I got you guys here quickly. Check out this app. Click on that. And now the LED colors go along with your battery. If it's you know, closer to full, it'll be green, and it'll get it'll go from green to like a yellowish green to orange to red. The lower it gets, that works too. That way, you'll always kind of know what your battery level's looking like. I kind of want to go back and finish that one PSP game though, so it redeems itself because I've never seen it freeze before. Of course, the first time it happens to me, it would happen on a video, right? Makes perfect sense. That's better, we made it this time. So you see how it's kind of like flickering or the frame is kind of like holding for a moment before it draws a new one at times? That's the last real remaining issue that I can see with Vulcan. Other than that, it's working. But it's normal when things like that are in development for there to be stages to it or testing phases, whatever you want to call it. If I put it onto OpenGL, which I'm not going to bother showing you all because just, yeah, it won't do that. But uh, Vulcan does make it run a little bit better. 
Um, that's all I wanted to show you guys. The version here is 117.1. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here, though. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.